Good morning, guys. How are we doing? Welcome to the Morning JB Show. I am your host, James Borman. <laughs> And we are Monday morning again, all right? If you are coming through, please do like, comment and share. It's a great way to let me know whether you're watching. If you have any questions or anything you want me to cover in terms of the JB Show and something that can help you personally, just drop me an inbox or just let me know in the comments below. Okay, so uh, today's post or show is really about raising your self-awareness a little bit more again. Obviously, Monday morning... We're trying to just get ourselves back into flow um, after the Christmas period. We're trying to get ourselves back on track. We're trying to get our minds working in the right way. We all want to improve ourselves. So if I can offer you a little bit of value, then uh, that will make my Monday. So what I'm going to talk about today is called um, happily dissatisfied. All right, happily dissatisfied. So the actual meaning of dissatisfied is not content. Or happy with something. Now, we could choose an array of things that we are dissatisfied about. So I've just given us three examples, and these three, these three things um, I feel are sort of crucial areas that I feel many of you are dissatisfied in. Um, so the three bubbles: dissatisfied in the way that you feel, in terms of mentally and emotionally. Um, self-esteem wise, confidence wise, going along those lines. Uh, the way that you are dissatisfied about the way you look, the reflection in the mirror um, and dissatisfied about the way you act. So in terms of your habits, your routines, the way you conduct yourself, the way you, um, whether you back yourself up with what you say you're going to do or whether you don't or whether you're frustrated with the lack of commitment you can show yourself. So those three things I think are super important for us to be satisfied in, but right now we're just not. And the reason I call it happily dissatisfied is that when I'm happy, I don't tend to change. So I'm in a happy relationship, so I'm gonna stick with that relationship. I'm in a strong fitness, I've got a strong fitness routine right now, so I'm gonna stick with that routine. I really enjoy my work here at the Dad's Coach, so I'm gonna stick with that, I'm gonna stay with that. I'm not gonna change those things, okay? If I was dissatisfied, then I would change. But for a large amount of you, you're not changing. You're staying the same. So we assume that you are happy with being dissatisfied. Make sense? The things that you're happy with, you don't change. The thing that we have to try and understand, and, and, and this is the thing that I think most of you are at, is that you're that dissatisfied that you've got into the habit or you've got into the mindset that that ju is just the way that life is. And that mentality, that stuck mentality in that dissatisfied place just becomes the norm for you. It's like being in jail and given a life sentence that you are never gonna get out of that. And then you might talk about changing the way that you look, act and feel, but there really is no way out of it. So you just become happily dissatisfied. You're happily getting along with your life just being overweight, not acting the way you want to do, not reaching your potential, not getting to the edge of your comfort zone, and you just accept it. So happily is just another word for acceptance, and you are just stuck in that place, right? And, and my question to you would be to get out of this place here, and if you, that's if you wanted to get out of that place. If you're dissatisfied and you want to get out of that place, you know, what are you doing to change constant, uh, consistently? And I challenge, I would challenge you, if you were face-to-face -face and we were at a seminar, you were at one of my workshops, I would say to you, if you're telling me you're unsatisfied in one of these three areas or another area that's not on here, what are you doing to change consistently? What are you doing to make life better for yourself? What are you happy to, uh, to change that dissatisfaction into satisfaction over and over and over again? So are you changing? Okay, so... What I tend to think here is the reason that we don't change a lot of the time and the reason we get into that acceptance of this is just the way life is, is because, again, we have no accountability. There was no one holding you accountable at all. 
There's no one giving you guidance. There's no one coaching you. There's no one teaching you. And the right the way through life, we have parents to, uh, you know, when we're 20s and then they just want to get rid of you. Then we have teachers at college and university. And we're constantly guided to a point where we get, get past our 30s, get to 35 or 40. And then we have no one. There is nobody to help us take the right path to find how to get satisfied in feeling better, looking better, acting better. And because we don't have that accountability, we never strive to get to the next level. We never upscale the way that we're living. If our kids never had us as parents, the fucking rooms would be a mess. Homework would never be done. It's the same logic, but just at a different chapter of your life. All right. Um, You've got to become unhappily distracted. And what I mean by that is you've got to raise your self-awareness. You've got to realize the problems. The reason I do this and a lot of the work that I do is to raise the truth and the facts. Okay, and overcoming the snowflake era. And I'm quite brutal in my manner about it because I do genuinely give a shit about you guys snapping the fuck out of it to be the best version of yourselves because it's not just you, it's the families that benefit from when you do become the best version of yourself. Okay, unhappily distracted means you're more self-aware, you're more aware of the problem rather than just accepting it. Okay, you're honest with yourself. It's reality. If you constantly are giving yourself a hard time every single day, you're going to eventually start changing I'm going to start squeezing you okay and that is what you are missing in order to get to the next step otherwise you're just going to stay happily dissatisfied just going to potter through life and you're going to always be frustrated and we always think it's never going to happen to us but we are going to get older you are going to carry that weight of regret you are going to carry that 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 um that wish that you had done more with your life and looked after yourself better work is not the fucking be all and end all. And most of you are more interested about getting through work and dealing with work, yes, we've got to work, than yourselves. You've got to make sure that you are the priority. These things here will make your work better. When you focus on you first and you become more satisfied in life, work becomes more enjoyable. You become more organized in the way that you act, plan and base your life around work. And then work becomes part of your life rather than your life becoming part of your work. Think about the bigger picture. All right. If you want to join us next Monday is the start of our of our 28 done 28 day fundamental course. OK, working on like you, you as a person, your health, your well-being, your routines, your habits, your structures. Details on the link. Have a great Monday and I'll catch you soon.